giving it up, giving it up, giving it up. Mm. All right. Mm. So now we know you for the streets. So what I wanted to do was get what? some. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was I'm making sure you're paying attention. I was a good girl. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Mm-hmm. Em- emphasis on the word was. Good girl. I was a good girl. Okay. Was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> was. A good girl. I was a good girl. All right. So let's talk. Mm-hmm. What do you consider too soon? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what you just bore witness to was a guilty laugh. Do you think it matters if you wait to give up to give up the cutty early or waiting till later? Do you think it makes a difference? It depends on what you're looking for. Man, listen. All right. Mm-mm. I'm going to need you to disable your dancing shoes right now. <laughs> I'm not asking about it, what it depends. I'm asking Andrea Lynch a question, my friend. Okay. I'm asking you. Do you think it matters if you wait or give it up early? No, I don't think it matters. How about that? Okay, that's you see how easy that was? You see how easy that was? All right, maybe you're not the only person that feels like that. Do you want me to be honest? Or you mean you no honest? lie to us? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was a good girl. I waited so I got married to have sex, but I changed my mind. And I got divorced, and ain't that, you know, it might be the first night. I don't know. It depends on what the, what the flavor is, what the feeling is. I don't know. It depends on, you know, where I'm at, who I'm with. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. So what you're stating is that it potentially would be based on who that person is. It's not just a normal schedule. No. And mm. I th- I thought that I would be honest, the reason I saved myself until I got married, because my parents was like, you should do that. And I'm thinking as I got older, did I did I do it because I wanted to, or I did it because I was out of out of fear for my parents? Mm. And plus, I was from the church, too. So they was like, you should wait and all this other bullshit. You know, I did all that. I I, 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 I buy their rules, okay? But if I if I do it, if I wasn't living under their roof, to be honest, I probably would be getting, getting down. So I just listened to what they said. She said, if you give oral, do you look at her different? If you give oral... You mean that if if I give oral? So. Hmm. I'm going to let Andrea answer that one. That, that, that's not for me. <laughs> that was no answer. That was no question to you. I, 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 I'm going to let Andrea answer. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I mean, you feel it all open and shit. <laughs> He's like, look. I don't want to lie to y'all. So look, <laughs> you speak, because I want to lie. How about mm-hmm. that? No. Yeah. <laughs> don't be acting like you're so interesting. You ain't never had a one night stand, okay? Oh, I never said that. I never okay. said that, but I'm saying I'm a 50-year-old man now. Okay, you know? then. So, you know, <laughs> is 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 different. It's different. Is, like, it, no. is, it, is it a double standard? Because I know somebody who told me that he had mm, close to 100 bodies on him, but yet and still, I believe it's a double standard when it comes to women and men. 
Watch this. Mm-hmm. Do you hold the door open for men? Oh, you know, no, do you pull out a man's seat? No, I don't. At the dinner table, do you do you pay for first dates? No. Oh, okay. Just checking. So <laughs> there's, there's so double standards are part of your repertoire. You get what I'm saying? Miss Red Lipstick Vibes. You see what she said? Okay. She said she never had a one night ever. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> I mean, God, I mean, so God bless her so. I mean, that, that, that is what it is, you know. Sophia said, I judge those who don't know me, but quick to lick the pinkity. Ooh. That sounds so good. I want to read that shit again. I judge those who don't know me, but quick to link the pink kitty. Oh, uh-huh. But I might still let you do it. <laughs> Use a Dixie cup, though. Wait. I'm curious. I'm trying to figure out where the Dixie cup. Mm. Dixie cup. Wow, you're right. You're you're creative. What type of sorcery is that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> what is the purpose of a one night stand for? Mm. Uh, well, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> That's not then don't you just not. <laughs> you know, put that on my Lord and Savior. Because he's the last one I'm thinking about doing that time. He's mm-hmm. Making this weird. It what you looking for? Okay, it depends on what you looking for. What is the purpose of a one night stand? It's funny that that question actually. Think about the answer; it goes deeper than I expected. Hmm. What is the purpose of it? Is it a selfish, is it a selfish placation? Is it, is it, is it the easy way out, the easy route, the path of least resistance, the path that it would allow you to achieve stimulation and copulation without having to build a relationship hmm. and time an effort. So if you want to look at it from a biblical stance or a traditional stance, one night stands are actually pretty selfish. I don't do the boyfriend. I don't do the boyfriend. So what you do? One night stands, I just said that. I don't like commitment. I don't do no motherfucking relationship. I do relationship. Nah, that shit dead for the motherfucking bird. Uh, I'm not the marrying type. I don't do marriage. I'm one night stand. I'm more of a, you know, solo type of bitch. Oh, city boy! It's an evil world we live in. Sensational. All of this, um, because I was in the comment kind of saying, uh, referring to the video, is that, yeah, a lot of young girls, they just keep saying, I don't want to be married. Like, I, I just find it interesting how the tables have turned now they're like oh well i'll just act like the boys and if i have that same mentality then i won't get my feelings hurt if they decide not to be with me but in the actuality they'll still be acting like girlfriends still saying oh that's my boo that's my man but then if something goes wrong then they say oh well well he's not with me anyway um just to cover up the hurt and pain um and I understand what um, someone else was saying in the chat. I forgot who I think it was Don, but saying like, "Oh, they don't." And not everyone wants to be married, but these girls aren't saying they don't want to be married. They're very young. They're like twenty 
19 yeah. saying that they haven't even experienced a, a real man to mm-hmm. actually try to say they don't want to be with someone. And I'm not talking about marriage and the concept of legal marriage, just being bonded with someone or being on a journey with someone. You haven't even really experienced that to say you don't want it. So I think that's where it's kind of like, it's just, it's just silly. It's a, you know, for me, I, I feel like it's just a way to, you know, make sure you don't get hurt and let everyone else think that you're not hurt or bothered by other people's actions. Um, and, and that's all that I think that really is. Uh, so it's kind of sad to see it. it. It really is sad to see that. For me, I think it's sad. True. How you doing? Hey, what's your name? Uh, I got a girl. Okay. Yeah. So, come talk to me. Nah, I, was, I'm, I, I gotta go. Damn, why are you, why are you playing? Like, what's your name? I mean, what yeah. you in the rush for? Uh, cause I gotta get home. Okay. Yeah. Let me see your phone. Um, I, I don't phone. really get my phone. Give me your damn phone and stop acting like a pussy. I'm about to give you my number and you gonna text me, okay? All right. It's Tisha too. You better tell me. Hey, get in the car. Huh? Get in the car. Uh, no, nah, I'm not around right now. I told you, I'm, you know, I'm with, you know, my little yeah, yeah, you know. I told you that. What's a yeah? We're gonna go to my crib, and I'm going to we're crib. Gonna... I just met you. <laughs> you is blowing me. Just get the fuck out. Just get the fuck out. Are you serious? Yeah, just get the fuck out. Cause you already knew what time it was. Just go. Well, for myself, that's just a sad commentary of, of where we are as a society. My daughter will be um, 18 in November, and, you know, she has a little friend and all that. And, and I've always told my I always tried to teach my child to, um, you know, stand up and be assertive. But if you're a female doing that, unfortunately, that looks as is you being domineering and that's throwing a lot of these boys off. And you have to realize that that we have. We've been we feminized little boys so much that they don't know how to to um to really talk and navigate with these girls today. And if they just so happen to be a little bit assertive and they just happen to be happen to speak up for themselves and are confident in themselves, that kind of throws them for a loop. So I kind of I actually feel sorry for these kids, but that's just going to show you again that just typifies where we are. Um, as a society today. So I kind of understand why young girls and, you know, the ones that we saw in that, that clip talk the way they talk because no one wants to get hurt. Uh, you don't want to put your feelings out there just to get, you know, get them ran over. And so, you know, I always say, you know, relationships and love, that's a contact sport and you got to protect yourself at all times. What? How old is too old? for one night stands. How old is too old for one night How old is too old for one night How old is too old? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I just, I, go ahead. I don't, I don't know how old is too old. It depends on the people. People so are still have one night stands in the senior citizens and senior citizen home. Okay, I'm just saying they still getting 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 it on. And so you you sound like you finna be hitting the licks at 82. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, 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 I got a relationship. Okay. So, Did you ever pick somebody specifically? Because you know you would be able to turn them out sexually, which means that you would be able to really put it on them. Did you ever choose specifically like that? No. <laughs> no. Damn. I guess I'm the only one. There was a few well, years. Peri- yeah. I don't think no, I'm going to tell you why, it. though. There was a few year period I only dated Amish chicks. Because oh. I knew I would be hitting it hard because they wasn't allowed to use electrical devices. Wow. Wow. That's an interesting <laughs> point of view. Okay. God dang. I hate you.
Now, I understand hypersexual people, though, and, you know, I've had dalliances with hypersexual people before, and I can understand them, and I can appreciate their presence, especially when it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like you know, it's like I don't know how to cook, and then they happen to be somebody sitting there that is addicting to cooking, and I got a steak over here. It's like <laughs> that's what you call perfect placement. Oh, you know? or we you know, optimum juxtaposition. You know what I'm saying? That, that's cosmic right there. Oh, so Lord. yeah, the hypersexual people. I've had situations with hypersexual people, you know, and they contribute something to the ecosystem. Absolutely. Absolutely. freaking Somebody said that, oh, you, you conceded you on that light skin shit. Cause there's certain something that I said, I said that oh, yeah. she asked me if I was into choking. Okay. Choking chicks. And I was like, no, I would only choke somebody I don't like. And somebody I don't like, I'm not going to smash. Oh, even if she looked like such and such and such and such. If I ain't feeling you, if I don't like you, if I think you're an asshole, you know what I'm saying? An asshole is normally something that's, that's you know, directed to men. But if you're a woman and I just feel like, in my mind, like, you're an asshole. The captain will not stand up, okay? For that it's person. not gonna work out. <laughs> yeah, it ain't gonna work out. You get what I'm saying? And we had the you know, said it was, a couple of girls said, it was, oh, that's some light skin shit. Cause I was like, nah, I feel like, ain't that you giving me something? I feel like I'm delivering you a gift. <laughs> As light skin yeah. people get hard. They get us, they get us hard. Listen, <laughs> I'm, the dude, I'm the dude that will wash my hands before I go and take a leak, because I don't want any of them worldly germs on the king staff. How about that? Make it okay. sense. <laughs> Make it sense. Right. I can definitely appreciate your 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 level of organization, or we can call it your emotional filing system. Me, I got more than two chicks, yo. I need to hire a um. Uh, a What's personnel, a personnel staffing company, in order to manage my staff and shit. I can't. It, it's yeah, man. It, it's <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. But I mean, you you may be just a highly skilled tactician. You know, I, you know. I, I think what it is is that you know, listen, I have ADHD, so that's probably what that energy comes from. So I think I'm able to multitask a lot more than most people, <laughs> but. <laughs> Uh, I mean, really, I realistically, like I, I've said before, three is where I like to be and is nice. But I, I've had I've had five. You, know, I, you want to hear a fucked up joke? I do. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. So. Do you know what happened to me when I got diagnosed with ADHD? Mm. You want to go ride a bike? <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't shut down for that one. It's fine. It's fine. Go ahead, yo. <laughs>